Hey guys, I continued messing around with Iceman a little bit, playing with different ISO builds and such on him, trying uh, to put different uh, skills in the forefront of my attacking, and came across uh, this this method of playing Iceman, and it is just absolutely bonkers. Uh, what I'm doing is using his Arctic Blast skill, and I have equipped two of the inflict status effect with less hit ISO so what's going on he is freezing the enemy and then uh, all that it takes is one synergy hit and uh, they go to stunned and it's just absolute meltage now uh, for this to work well you need people in your comp that are going to provide that synergy attack once the enemy is frozen so uh, what you would be looking for there is someone with a barrage or an area skill for the elemental barrage and then the other ones that are my preference are bash launch and slam attacks uh, those will all give you a catalyst which is a nice hard hitting synergy for that you can also get a synergy out of whirlwind but uh, the, the ones i listed are just the ones i prefer uh, in any case this uh, does have Iceman geared out with some pretty nice ISO here so I will tell you the rest of his ISO loadout uh, just because I, I've had the good fortune to have uh, what I would consider almost a perfect build for him uh, I do have like I said the two uh, reduce the number of hits required to inflict a status on the enemy I have two of those ISO uh, it's a double then I have a double ice damage ISO then I have an Ice Damage and Ability Attribute Damage ISO. And then I have a Ice Critical Hit Ice Damage ISO. So that's all the ISO loadout I've got on him. And uh, when you get him built out like that, it is uh, just insane damage that he can, he can uh, put out there with the right comp. And, and also providing at the same time that about roughly 30% damage resistance. So... Just a really an overpowered character in my opinion, but uh, that seems to be the theme of the X-Men DLC characters is uh, at least two of them I know are just kind of ridiculously powerful. Uh, in any case, that is the, uh, the gist of this build, just freezing the enemies and, and blowing them up. Uh, I've done a couple of runs with this build and all of them are averaging around three and a half minutes on Ultimate Alliance of Evil. So that's that's fairly quick. Um, I've got through faster with lower level characters, but for just using one character and primarily one skill, it's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, I will uh, shut up now and just let you guys enjoy the action, and I will talk to you next time.